Science is a judicious mixture of rationality and creativity and you've got to get that balance right to be a great scientist. How many times have we all begun experiments and then we see something happening which we didn't expect? Now the great scientist is the one who drops everything and says, wait a minute, something's happened here. That's what science is all about. That ability to be flexible, creative, and imagine what's really going on. Defining cognition's a kind of tricky thing. We're talking about many different brain systems. There's brain systems for memory and learning and what we call executive function. Executive function is all about decision making, placing restraint over your behaviour in certain social situations. And we're trying to use the techniques of basic neuroscience, which involve brain imaging and pharmacology and neurochemistry, to redress the imbalances of the frontal lobes and what it does to produce mental disorders. We introduced touchscreens for testing humans' cognitive functions as an instrument for assessing memory disorders. The idea is that instead of asking questions, we might show you visual icons on the screen and ask you to remember where they were on the screen. We can work out which brain networks are malfunctioning. We may be opening up new approaches, new avenues for therapy, which cut across disorders. The Patricia Golden Rakesh Award means a lot to me. This is a real salute in this area of cognitive neuroscience. Ultimately, we want to make a difference and tackle a really important problem, like what's the nature of addiction? How do we gain that self-control over behaviour? Understanding how the brain works is the last big frontier. <laughs>